Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 27th of April for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, you can subscribe to your free daily horoscope, my monthly magazine, by clicking the link beneath this video. This week's highlights occur on Monday when Mercury, the planet which influences our thinking, our expression, distribution and travel moves into the sign of Taurus. Now Taurus energy is very much about practicalities because of course it's ruled by uh, Venus and the uh, elements of Earth means that we like the good things in life. It can see us thinking about money and our values. But also, Mercury goes into an almost immediate right angle with the restrictive energies of Saturn. So we could find ourselves having a conversation where we are trying to perhaps get some kind of uh, financial benefit and it may not necessarily come to us in the way we exactly want. Or we could encounter someone with a very different set of values. It could be a bit of a stubborn standoff. Fortunately, Mercury on Tuesday forges a brilliant angle to the North Node. If we want to pick up on the prevailing trends, where things are heading in the world at large, this will certainly help us. Also, the Sun is combining with Uranus for the first three days of this week. Of course, this runs on from last week and it suggests that we need to be flexible because changes are coming and resisting them will prove futile. So the more we can accept that and put our frustrations to one side, the more we can embrace opportunities. Also, Venus, the ruler of Taurus, in its journey through Gemini, is forging a fab alliance with Mars still, which goes on all this week. So there can be some lovely connections. Uh, it's just that Venus is also in a right angle with Neptune. So even if someone seems like the real deal, we just need to be a little... Uh, cautious, get to know them a bit better before making a binding decision. But the quarter moon, which occurs on Thursday, uh, is in the sign of Leo, which of course is very much about uh, our desire to uh, be loud and proud and sociable and affectionate, but it is in a right angle with the sun in Taurus. I think this is basically saying that when it comes to our resources, again, we may want to splash out, but we may have to be a bit more cautious with them just at this time. So generally, this Taurus energy this week is asking us to be more dexterous and imaginative about how we make the most of the loot that we've got, but also avoid taking fixed positions around the things we believe in, because that could lead to arguments, particularly in a time when things are in such a state of flux. Your specific forecast can suggest that your mind could be churning with different possibilities. This can actually be quite exciting in one way. Another way, it may be quite unsettling. It depends on your normal mode of being. Obviously, the wider circumstances we're all dealing with is challenging. It's creating a lot of uncertainty. But for you, this is more to do with your longer term future. You need to be true to yourself. That's what Uranus's message is increasingly impressing upon you. And Uranus is going to be amazingly influential for your sign all through this year, particularly on a series of lunations. So with the Sun conjoining with uh, Uranus in the first half of this week, Mercury moving into the same sector that Uranus and the Sun are in, in the sign of Taurus, your future, your long-term future, is something that's going to be much to the fore. But how this will work in terms of what you'd really like with the practicalities is something you may have to grapple with. Still, it is true to say that there is a glorious angle between Venus and Mars. And that suggests that if you can dig into your inner resources, I actually feel that you could unlock a past skill, talent, experience, 
or way of being that actually can be very positive for you financially. It's just with the quarter moon occurring on Thursday, I don't think this is probably the best of weeks to mix business with pleasure. Thank you so much for having joined me. If I can be of any personal assistance in these difficult times that we face, you can see testimonials from my live readings beneath this video, and it would be a pleasure to do a one-to-one -one with you. You can see the link for that below, or if you'd like to find out more about personal astrology, go beyond your zodiac sign. You can click also to get the special offer I offer for a combination of your character analysis and 12-month forecast. But for now, take good care and goodbye.